I don't really like writing, but I guess this is appropriate for what I'm about to do. This last month was hell, and I can't take this anymore. I'm tired of sitting alone in my room with nothing to do, no one to talk to, no one to care. In this last month, I had finally found someone I cared for, someone that I thought would take me out of this hole that I put myself in. Every day I watched her, from the distance, just admiring her beauty. This is the only time I felt joy in my life. I never felt the need to go up to her, because I feared that if she denied or refused to talk to me, it would ruin my perception of her and take away the one thing that makes me happy. But I saw something that forced me to act. Her boyfriend is the one person I hate more than anyone else on this planet. When she gives me happiness, he just takes it away. And I realized that if I just kept watching, it wouldn't be long before he corrupted her and her beauty. I'm not that great with women, but I felt that if I put my heart into what I did for her, love will prevail. I have never been more wrong. I never really go outside, only when I go to school, so I don't really know much about flowers, but I always found the dandelion beautiful. The flower reminds me of myself, abused and unwanted. So if I gave her a bouquet of dandelions, two unwanted things would be given a chance at love. But by the time I got to her, it was already too late. I thought she was alone, so I went up to her and professed my love as I gave her the flowers. I looked up, expecting to see a face of joy, only to my surprise, see a face of disgust. She laughed at me, called me names, and destroyed any feelings I had left. Then he showed up, laughing. He took the flowers from her and lit them on fire. As those flowers burned, so did my will to live. As he continued to beat and humiliate me, I realized that it was too late. That this world and the people living in it are too far gone to save. That this world has been corrupted beyond repair, and there's no reason for me to be here anymore. So now I'm here, writing, hoping someone will read my story and understand why I did what I did. She was too far gone and he would continue to spread his disease. I did what I had to do, but they're coming for me. So this is where I leave you. I hope there is a better place for people like me on the other side. <laughs>